Hey guys, this is Angel here. It's been a long time since I've done the video on the webcam. Honestly, it feels pretty good to go back right to it. Now, I should mention this before. I, I really, really appreciate all the people that has gotten me this far. I'm serious. You have no idea how how much it means to me. I am I'm honestly getting really close to my 375 subscribers. I I just I just really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go over what I want to talk about. Before anyone thinks about taking down this video I want to say Instagram will suck even though it can have some kind of benefits it just I don't, I don't really understand the purpose of such things oh oh man it's going really messed up there Anyone that has been like following me on YouTube and Instagram, I do a lot of Instagram lately. I, I just do a lot of that lately. And I remember it was a while ago. I came across a post that talks about how Instagram is no longer a photo sharing app. And it's going to be moving on two wheels. Oh my god, was I not happy about that. Also, those people that, that claimed that it, it would not ruin artists on Instagram. Let me tell you this, you, you guys have lied. Let me tell you that. You guys really did lied. I'm gonna have right from the get go. I barely did have any attention for my art, my posts in general ever since. What what is so what is so important about reels anyways? They're not TikTok. Now TikTok is a social media platform that originated from China that country that books on silencing people hurting others and you know what not that I really want you to not go there because there are some good things about it I think like those snow festivals I, I did remember actually some news news talking about that a few years ago. It does look pretty fun. Now TikTok is a is an app. You know how Vine has like those shorts you can make? Well TikTok is more like that. Uh, I had no idea what Instagram was thinking. Instagram hasn't been like that. I really do not understand why they do this. They are legit ruining artists' dreams to get all the attention they want. I want all the attention those artists have. I wanted to know what it's like to have so many people buying my commissions. I want to see what it's like having all those people talking about how great my art is. Instagram basically just took that away from me, almost. I, I get it. Instagram is owned by Facebook. And not too long, pretty much a while ago, I quit Facebook. 
as a platform. I cannot stand all these false information that I've been receiving. This it is the same problem on Instagram though, but it's not as common for my feed and all that. It might it might be might be like common for some people that has Instagram. Also, I came across these reliable footage and whatever about COVID-19. Oh, it hurts. I, I didn't even bother checking it out because I already know how inaccurate it's going to be. Just please don't take down this video. I, I really need to mention this. Alright. Now, on for YouTube, they they did these YouTube shorts, as some of you may know, at least. Uh, at least they... At least for YouTube, they... It does feel like they are doing their best. Because YouTube is a video sharing platform. And I feel like shorts, it make, they make some kind of sense. It, it made some kind of sense since YouTube from the beginning is a social media platform that lets you post videos. Now Instagram doesn't really do share videos. Right until we got to Reels. Well, we kind of had these little, little videos but they weren't like Reels. If you know what I mean. I I will never understand why Reels existed. I I really do not get it. I I don't know. It it might change for the better, but who knows? I I cannot stand this. Hey this is something that Instagram really should fix. Especially with their algorithm. Their algorithm just sucks. I have no idea why I don't why I don't allow why I don't allow them to share my posts around and have people try something new. I mean it's not hard to try new things. Same for my channel, it's not hard to try new things. I even have my art channel, my debut art account. I even have PayPal where I do my commissions. All the other accounts that I have. I, I actually quit Twitter because basically I, I feel like no one thinks I existed. No one thinks I existed there. I, I, I really can't. I really am slowly losing touch with humanity here. People need to realize that people need to try new things and that if they have a problem with what I post, they need to just leave regardless how long they've been around. It's, it's really ridiculous in so many levels to think that people would just go out of the way to bully people out of existence. I... I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I... I am still gonna make videos. I am still gonna do whatever it takes. It's just, it's gonna, gonna require some help from you guys to make those dreams happen. That's why I thought getting as much attention as I possibly need is, is pretty interesting because I thought I want to know what it's like to have so many people following me and all that. I... I, I just don't know. 
So, in conclusion, it's just Instagram real suck and should have not existed to begin with. Now, I want to say, really hope for the best. I did, I did make this new Gotcha Club series. It's a remake from my old Gotcha, not Gotcha Studio series. And yeah, I am, I am working on all this. And my third voice acting reel is gonna be coming up. It's too hard for me to do all that in the trailer because that's where I do all all that stuff. I am hoping by the time it gets cooler, I'll I'll look into that. I I'll I'll definitely look into that. I do miss doing some voice acting. It thought it was pretty fun. But yeah, I wanna say. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you have anything for me, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer. I just really hope that Instagram changes for the better, you know. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thinks the same way. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!